Hey guys, Rory from ANS. Uh, we're going to take a look at the profiler from V-Force right here. This mask has been out for a while, um, so we just want to show you one of the special edition colors. This is the Zebra version. Take the lenses on and off and show you the features and what you're going to get with the mask. Now personally, the prof profiler is what I wear. I, l I love this mask. I think it fits my face perfectly. Um, and that's what it's all about with the mask. You really have to find a mask that fits your face right so that you can wear it all day long and feel comfortable. It's not necessarily what's the coolest mask out right now, but for me, it's the most comfortable, so that's why I wear it. I'm gonna come pull that out there. You're gonna get your mask, obviously, with it, and you're gonna get a couple pieces inside here. You're going to get your manual on how to use the mask uh, or how to take it apart. I mean, how to use it is pretty self-explanatory. A uh, barrel or a mask bag, it's awesome. Chin strap, which, I like that they don't put it on the mask. They leave it up to you whether you want to put it on there or not. So I think that's cool. A couple extra O-rings or I don't want to say extra, the couple O-rings. If you're going to use um, the visor or the uh, forehead protector, these little pat tabs that you see right here, these little posts, it's kind of hard to see in the camera here. When you stick these through the top of this vent right here, these O-rings go around the bottom of the tab and make it so that it doesn't pull through. Okay, so it holds it in place. So if you're gonna use them, it's important that you do put these on, otherwise these can just pop right off. And then the sides are going to go through the edge of the ears here. And that's what's gonna hold it in place. So that's gonna wrap around to the other side, push your tabs through, put your O-rings on it. It's gonna hold everything in place. Your forehead protector and your visor o-rings so that's what you're going to get in your box now the mask itself um, it's got a huge lens on it so it's got great vision out of it plenty of removable or replaceable lenses if you want to switch them out you can for other colors um, it is not as flexible as some masks but that's okay with me it does have enough flex where you will get uh, the occasional bounce off of it um, but it just has great coverage altogether. so for me that's why i wear it to remove it or to change out your lenses per se, there's two tabs, one on each side right here. You're going to reach in and you actually see my fingers inside there. I'm going to squeeze the tabs together and that's going to let me pop out the uh, goggle strap from this side. Go ahead and do it to the other side and that way I can pop out the goggle strap from this side as well. Once my goggle strap is out, the tab here I'm going to remove. So the middle part of the tab, I'm going to lift it up and then I'm going to slide the tab out. So lift up on the middle, slide the tab backwards, and it's going to come right off. Just like that. Do that to the other side. Lift up the middle, slide the tab backwards. Get my fingers on it. And it's going to come right off. Once your two tabs are out, and they are marked left and right, so you can't get them confused. Once you've popped your tabs out, then you can basically just push the lens out the front. So it is uh, has a little tab on there. Pop it out. We can pull off our lens and replace it with uh, a mirrored one, a dark one, whatever you want to do with it. You can replace that right there. Um, now one feature that this doesn't have, which I do like on the grills from V-Force, is the foam replacement. This doesn't come off like the one on the grills does, so if you do ruin your foam, you're gonna have to find some replacement foam by itself or get a different mask. But I've had mine for many, many years now and the foam is still holding up for me. Put it back together. We're gonna follow the reverse steps of the way we took it apart. So we're gonna make sure that the edge of the lens goes under on each side. And there are a couple tabs. I'll take this off again, you can see it. There's these little nubs right there. There's some slots. You wanna make sure that everything goes into the right slot when you go to put it back together. Well, it goes on there. It goes in there. Obviously you want to do this with clean hands as much as possible to eliminate as much of the smudging as possible. I'll push this through. Make sure everything is fit into place. And all our tabs are on. All right, so our lens is in. It's hooked into both sides. Now we're going to put our side pieces back on. We're going to look for, this is, has an R on it, so this is going to be on the right side. We're going to just drop it in place and we're going to slide it forward and it locks it in. Just 
Same thing the other side. Drop it in place and slide it forward. Now it's locked the lens in place. Now we need to lock our goggle strap in place too. So we'll push it back through. That snaps in. Go to the other side and push it through. Now it is easy to do. I'm doing this without really even being able to see it. You can just do it by feel. And I know I've locked it in place right there. So if you're looking for a great comfortable mask, and I say that because it fits my face, I know it's comfortable, um, but everybody's face is shaped different. So make sure you try on your masks before you just buy one because it's got a cool logo or name on it. Um, but if you're looking for something that I know fits, fits faces great, it's comfortable and it's durable, check out the profilers from V-Force. They're awesome masks, easy to change lenses, and they come in a lot of different colors. So check them out on the website and order yours now at ansgear.com.